Hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, in our last episode, um, well, we buried our friends and uh, right now we're currently trying to gain the trust of uh, these ish guardians over here so that they introduce us to the noble houses. Um, we've done two favors for them and they insist that we do a third. Uh, so we're picking up some stolen wares um, to try and uh, gain their trust here. Looks like these will be picked up without any issue, but it looks like there's gonna be a battle over here. Oh. I know, I'm glad I actually ended the last episode where I did because uh, I had a bunch of internet downtime, like immediately following. So it's kind of a lucky timing for that. It was the first time my ISP noticed the problem, gave me an estimate time of when it would be fixed, and it was fixed substantially quicker too, so that was a nice surprise. Alright, we recovered... Who were those people we killed? We recovered uh, the stolen goods. A portal lane. Uh, have you good tidings to share, or better yet, stolen merchandise to show? I have those things. God bless ye, friend. Uh, it's all here, every last... Oh, but wait. The chest over there looks like it might have been pillaged. Bloody else, that's the personal property of Lord Francil, too. Are you certain? Clear an attempt was made to open it, but the lock appears to have held. Nevertheless, if you wish to verify the contents against your shipping manifest, be my guest. Fury, take me a draconian rosary! In the possession of Lord Frenzel? Yet, perhaps this is not so difficult to fathom. Fa uh, House uh, Halenar was whispered to be infested with heretics. Thank you for bringing this matter to my attention, sir. I shall inform the Inquisitor immediately under these circumstances. I must strongly advise against associating with House Hollenart. Uh, your other introductions will need to be postponed as well. It is the duty of every Ashgardian to root out and destroy heretics. All must wait until this matter is resolved. Ooh, busted. Hey, hey Lucy. We got, we got Lucy in here today. Hey. Don't come say hi. No? No? Okay. Lucy's my wife's cat. Um, oh! Uh, let's see. Come closer, lad, and listen well. This is for your ears only. Lord Francil is no heretic. He is a goodly righteous man, wholly dedicated to the cause. Lucy? Hi. You talking? Lucy's trying to be on the recording. I know this because I served House Hellenart for years prior to the Calamity. Uh, you must go to Skyfire Locks and warn him of the coming storm. The Inquisitors are ruthless and will spell, spare him no mercy. Speak of him... Speak to him of Edelweiss, and he will know you are a friend. Now go. Okay, so we gotta go warn him. So he's not a heretic? Or maybe we're being played... Hold on. Hey, Lucy. Lucy, come here. Come on. Come here. Wanna come say hi? No. Just wanting the attention. Just want the attention? Here. No luck. Just wanted to say hi. Yeah. 
Yes, you look as though you have something to say, do you? Uh, is that an Edelweiss in your pocket or are you happy to meet me? I see Sir Carlot uh, has not forgotten my mother's favorite flower. A pity it has not uh, been seen in Corthus since the Calamity. You may speak freely here, friend. That, that's absurd. I would sooner die than become a thrall of the dragons. Alas, it matters little what I say at this point. Although the Draconian Rosary was not found in my possession, it will be considered by many as proof of my heresy. heresy. I, do, I must do my utmost to prove my innocence to the Inquisitors, uh, for if they harbor the slightest doubt, <sighs> this will only add weight to the incessant accusations our house has suffered of late. It's as though the gods themselves are plotting our fall. Hmm. You risk much by coming here. It is only proper that I re uh, recompense you for, uh, for this deed. Tell me what you desire, and I shall do my best to provide. A missing airship, I see. It may require prolonged effort to locate your quarry. I shall direct you to one in a better position to assist you. Lord Orchafont of House Four Tombs uh, commands the garrison at Camp Dragonhead. Present to him this letter of introduction, he and sh he will surely be receptive to your needs. All right, I'm gonna get Lucy real quick. Um, I'm not sure what she wants. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see. Okay, we, so we gotta uh, go speak with uh, Orshifal in Camp, Camp Dragonhead, which we have a teleport to, so we're gonna be lazy. in here or is it just me ah uh, oh, the unmistakable unmistakable swagger of a well-traveled adventurer if you are come to pay your respects be at ease friend I am not one to stand on formality truth be told I would gladly welcome many and more brave souls like yourself but enough chatter pray tell me why you've come If there is any justice in this world, these charges will no, will receive no serious consideration. It is beyond inconceivable. Ah, yes. The letter made mention of pressing ma a pressing matter for which you required assistance. What might that be? So this enterprise you speak of was last seen above Corthus before the calamity five years ago. I fear it may prove difficult to find any eyewitnesses of these events. For while Ishgard did not participate in the Battle of Cartano, uh, we were embroiled in our own internal conflicts at the time. Nevertheless, I will make inquiries, inquiries on your behalf and share with you my findings in the future. In the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of Camp Dragonhead. I will see that you are afforded every courtesy as a guest of House Fortons. As you, have, as you have doubtless realized by now, the, the high houses of Ishgard, House Fortons included, are either unable or unwilling to offer you formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there is not an not influential individuals within each house who are sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives to their various representatives in Ishgard, though I suspect it would be quicker and more efficient if you were to make the increase of your own. A lady Neem of mine own house, Fortoms, who resides over Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. There is also Kravelin of House uh, Halinart, who may be found in Skyfire Logs, though any information you pry from the scribe may prove difficult to parse. Have you spoken with Chief Astrologian House, uh, uh, of House Durandair yet? Really? Hmm. 
Perhaps he will be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House Fortom's. Uh, do not concern yourself with House uh, Zemail. I shall contact them myself. Uh, seek the counsel of the three I mentioned and return to me when finished. Alright. I feel like my lance does not match. It's like I have this cool armor and then like have a wooden pole. Why hello good sir. What's that? An airship you say? I hate to disappoint you but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely no one of House Four Toms does for if they did I would definitely know as well. The topic on everyone's lips these days is what will become of Lord Francel. Some say the allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Hamlinart have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. Oh, so people have been found guilty? Are they being framed? Let's go, Aeroch. Alone, I grant me strength. There, uh, there must be some way to. Oh, who are you? A friend of Lord Orshafon. I want to help you. I truly boot do, but these accusations of heresy have thrown House Halenart into chaos. Right now, we must focus on combating these charges and preserving our reputation. That's understandable. <clears throat> Although it is my experience when an NPC in a quest sends you to talk to several people and then volunteers to talk to the fourth on their own, it usually means that the three people you're, talk you're going to talk to will offer you no information and then the, pers the one person that the NPC decides to talk to is going to have all of the information that you need and progress the story along. So I feel like talking to these NPCs are more of a formality. <laughs> Granny Jasmine, I love it. Granny loves you. I have a secret, you're my favorite grandkid. Aww. I wish there was an elevator here. This card seems to be all elves as well, from what I'm seeing. I gather you have been busy since last we spoke. Lord Orshafon's missive was positively glowing, but if you think this, that his endorsement has caused for me to disregard his guardian policies, then you're sorely mistaken. We are at war, sir. And the enemy grows bolder by the day. Why, in the short time since Inquisitor uh, Gilmain arrived in Corthus, countless heretics have been discovered, even amongst the elite of Iscardian society. If Lord Orshafont wishes to waste his days chasing off a long-lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state of affairs. Bummer. But hey, didn't I tell you? Uh, we go, oh wait, let's just teleport. Fly, Eric. One sec, guys. Oops. Wow. There we go. 
All right, to Orsha Farm. Uh, by your countenance, I take it you did not learn anything of use. Nor did I, I fear. Oh, well, there goes my theory. It seems the whole of Corthus is consumed by this talk of heretics in the high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgard pro uh, proper provide more pertinent information. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francel, of whom much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen headed north towards Steel Vigil. The outpost was long overrun by Dravanian hordes, so I'm not certain what he intends to accomplish with such a small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Francel's party requires assistance. That's where we fought, um, that's where we fought Astinian, right? Yeah. Not a good place. sign. Oh, here we go. Franzel! Who goes there? Swipe? No, stay back. The fiend is still here. What fiend? Ah, that fiend. Rick! I heard the beast cries from over yonder there. Then Lord Francois is safe. Bless you, sir. Bless you. Curse those fiends. It's as though they knew we were coming. Found it all. How are we to uh, How are we to redeem House uh, Halenard if we cannot even slay a single Avis? We are fortunate you came along when you did, sir. House Halenard will remember your kindness. Oh, so they were trying to prove their innocence. It was foolish. It was a foolish thing to do. I know, but I. I'd hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the scale skin. Moreover, it was House Halenart that yielded the stone vigil to the Horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow, heralded the slow and decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these uh, despicable accusations of heresy, and despite my best efforts, I have done naught to improve the situation. The day of my trial approaches. Soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my protestations fall on deaf ears, I will proclaim my innocence to my dying breath. That's why you don't have, uh... Don't have the church run your state. What did you find at Steel Vigil? Ah, I see. A reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him and his knights' lives. I have news for you as well. A witness to the final fight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Francel 
at Skyfire Locks not long ago. Upon learning of this, the witness became understandably reticent to make your acquaintance, for fear of being seen in the company of a man who might later be declared a heretic. A not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with which Inquisitor Guillaume uh, has conducted his investigations. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Francis's name, and by association, yours. Level up. Uh, let's see, level 38. What I have is better. As I see it, the key to improving Lord Francis's in his proving Lord Francis's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary found in the chest you yourself recovered. If you would please tell me of the incident in question. So it was found in a locked chest labeled as property of Lord Francis. If the rosary was not his, then someone else with access must have planted it. Here's what you must do. Return to Skyfire Locks and speak with Rickman. He works closely with the porters to ferry, who ferry good across Corthus, so he may have an inkling of who could be responsible. <clears throat> oh, so it was planted. But was the box even his to begin with? Like... Someone wouldn't have had to sneak it in. Really, only the person who was delivering the box said it was his, right? It could have been any box, and you say, oh, that's this guy's. Oh, look what's in it. Guardians are dumb. It's so easy to frame someone. It's because they're setting out to prove that he's a heretic, not the opposite. They're looking for proof, not doubt. Uh, eh? Someone tampering with shipments? Fury, strike me down. If all I know, if all them rosaries found in, if all them rosaries found in our people's possession were planted, hey now, don't you give me that look, lad. I'm a, I'm a house hailing art man through and through. This hearsay nonsense. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and my family too. I ain't saying the porters what we're bringing the shipments. I mean, they ain't saying the porters what we're bringing the shipments did it. Though I know most of them that work the trade routes, and I've never had cause to question their faith. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, every, most every shipment is thoroughly inspected before it. Eh? Could it have been the fellows that were been the fellows that were responsible for the inspections? Ha! This guardian knights and inquisitors, the lot of them. As if they'd ever turn their cloaks. Uh, reckon that means the porters are, are your most likely suspects. Hate to think it, but maybe you should question them. There's a crew coming to Camp Dragonhead from right brim front today. You might consider having a word with them. Well, that's convenient. I don't know. Orders. I'm. I'm not really trusting of the Inquisitor, so. But maybe I'm wrong. Apathetic Porter. I don't know. He's pretty apathetic. Beg your pardon. I suspect that you suspect that we Porters have been planning Draconian rosaries and house hailing art shipments. What nerve! If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. Okay. Nothing there. You find a draconian rosary hidden inside. And another one. Ha! Ah, but not in the other house. Are we finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. But that's impossible. Once the knights at Whiteburn Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels into the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would never have allowed you to search my shipments. Say what will Lord Orchafont? Uh, say what you will to Lord Orchafont. I will not be held accountable for this. So it is. It is the people that are inspecting. <clears throat> Did something happen outside? I thought I heard shouting. Ah, but more importantly, what did Rickman have to say? 
more draconian rosaries, and every single parcel bound for Skyfire locks? That beggar's belief. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to solely house Halenart's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand. And praise Holoni that he did. Lord, Lord Francis' trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. Okay, we got this. We got this. From the very first, I knew it could not be that so many members of House Halenart were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous allegations. We can give the lie to these poisonous allegations and put an end to this travesty. I will need to prepare a formal statement regarding this, these developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my words to Inquisitor Bridgie. Tell her that House Four Temps asks, nay, demands that Lord Francis' trial be postponed until a full investigation has been conducted. Alright. Bridgie? Here you are. What is it, my child? Hmm? Lord Orshafont would have the Inquisitors do what? But that is not possible. Inquisitor Gilamine presides over Lord Francis' trial at Witchdrop even as we speak. Fear not, if Lord Francis is indeed innocent, he shall walk in Halone's halls with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. Wow. Wow, thanks for the... Thanks for nothing, Bridgie. They've taken Lord Francis to Witch Drop. This is madness. The Inquisitor does not have the sufficient grounds to subject him to that manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Swipe. Would you dispatch? Uh, I would dispatch you and one of my knights to Witch Drop to forestall the proceedings until such a t as a time I am able to join you and petition Inquisitor Guillaume, uh in person. I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must do to keep Lord Francois alive. We got it. Eroch, we got an elf to rescue. We jump over here. Aha! A little cold for a swim, boys. Hail, swipe. As you can see, Lord Francois yet lives. We must try to reason with the Inquisitor, but his guards judge us a threat. We must, but if his guards judge us a threat, we must also be prepared to defend ourselves. Well, the battle notifications to give away about how this is going to go. Jauk and Charlemagne, Francil de Halenart, you stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers. These charges are false. The men and women of my line have ever opposed the Dravanians, and I am no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have gladly shed blood in the service of the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow for the enemies of Ishgard. Oh, this guy is evil. Look at that. Uh, it is for Haloni to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from the cliff and entrust the fate to the fury. The righteous shall take their place in Holone's Hall, while the wicked shall reveal their dragon forms and be put to the sword. Is that seriously the trial? Jump, and if you die, you're innocent, and if you don't die, you're guilty. In the name of House Four Temps, I beseech you, stay your hand. Inquisitor, we are come on behalf of Lord Orshavon. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Francois are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such as a time full re-examination of the facts can be conducted. Lord Orshavon has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That he should harbor doubt, private doubts I might have allowed. But that he would dare interfere in legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See, I cannot. To defy the will and uh, of an inquisitor is to commit heresy, a crime for which there is but one punishment. Holy, this guy. 
We must hold them until Lord Orshifon arrives, Swipe. And remember, no harm can be done to the Inquisitor. That's gonna be a problem, because I want to do him harm. Yeah, Lord Orsifon. Sweet. Are these guys weaker? Yes. Oh, a dragon. It's invincible? Heal. Okay, we got him. Oh, it's retreating. Wait, he dropped a rosary? So why would they have one? It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop, but this trial, like many others, I fear, has been orchestrated by the enemies of House Alenar. They, they have used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor, to set brother against brother, and that we may tear ourselves apart. The fevered imagines of, of a desperate man. What proof you have of this? By the fury of Draconian Rosary, then the knight who refused to yield was he who summoned the wyvern? A heretic in the ranks of the temple knights. This has grave implications. Oh, maybe the guy's not evil. Your claims would appear to have merit, Lord Orchifont. I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Francel pending further in investigation. I trust you have not lost sight of that which first brought you to Corthus, Swipe. Pray locate your errant ship and use it. Is he telling me to, like, get the heck out of here? Lord Orshavon, I, uh, I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy. You're, no, you're not. You're too loyal to betray Ishgard and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slower, you'd have jumped of your own free will. I I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Halenart. Praise Halonia did not come to that, but it profits us little profits us little to dwell on what might have been. Let us quit this place, Swipe. Pray visit me at Camp Dragonhead once you have recuperated. I like how I am wearing like a legendary Azure Dragoon armor set from their home country and they like still don't trust me all like fully
You look well, Swipe. May I say what a pleasure it was to fight alongside such a fearless and skilled warrior? Uh, were it not for you, Lord Francis would surely have died defending the honor of his house. And I might well have perished at the hands of a heretic and his wyvern. House Vortemps and House Halenard shall never forget your service. Now let us return to the matter which you are dis uh, of your missing enterprise. The man with this knowledge of the Enterprise awaits you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. Okay. Like, right outside? Nice. How quickly the commoners' opinions change. They say Lord Francois is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring about as the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Corthus several days before the Calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky in the observator observatorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gradania and landed near Stone Vigil in the no far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Orchifon is, from all indications, quite fond of you, uh, so may happy he can lend you a few. In any case, I've done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. So it's in Stone Vigil. Why do we need an army? Ah, so you've located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah. Perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by dragons for years, and all access is restrict restricted by decree of House Durandar. I will write a letter to Lord Grilmont of Whiteburn Front and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice. So I suggest that you request Lord Francis to do the same. Now that your business in Camp Dragonhead has concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well on your journey, Swipe. May Helona guide you. Aw, oh, bye, Orchifon. Thank you for your help. Where are we going? Oh yeah, Lord Francis. Wonderful to see you again, Swipe. If there is anything I can do to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside Stone Vigil. It shames me to say that it too once was an outpost held by House Halenard. In the chaos that followed the Calamity, the Dravanian Horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the Stone Vigil, House Durandere instead has been charged with the, uh, with the duty. Uh, given that, I doubt my words will carry much weight with Lord Drillmont. Uh, nevertheless, I will write your, you your letter. Uh, before you depart, a word of caution. The Cravens who attempted to destroy House Halenart may yet be unmasked. Uh, may yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor a great hatred towards us and towards you now as well. That's true. Uh, it's gonna be teleport here and then to white brim front uh, in between recordings I I got my retainers but I need I need ventures to send them on uh, missions so uh, I also unlocked what I unlock Botanist, I'm level eight. Uh, I haven't actually done any botany. I'm just doing the turn-ins uh, daily and seeing if that will get me what I need. So no content missed, just turn-ins and retainer registering. Registering. Do do do.
Chinchilla. When I was a kid, my family almost bought a chinchilla. I don't know why. We didn't end up getting one. Oh. Sorry I jumped over your wall. Your security sucks. You desire an audience with Lord Drillmon, do you? Ha! Huh, a desire is night with is night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. What do we have here? Letters from Lord Orchafon in France, is it? A likely Oh, you're serious. Hmm. What to do, what to do. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Drillmont's attentions are focused solely on the Stone Vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Alboys. Yes, Sir Alboys. He can surely accommodate you. Seek her. Oh, she she can accommodate you. Okay. Uh, seek her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. Sir Brunadair asked, uh, Brunadair asked you to speak with me, did he? I know not what he, why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Lord Drillmont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low-ranking knights such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for the head uh, Churgian, Astidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? All right, we gotta speak to the doctor. Upstairs, she said? Did. If the Enterprise is indeed inside Stone Vigil, then we must convince Lord Drummond to cooperate. Sid, what? You seem here prematurely. Are you here to visit a patient, sir? What's this? A letter of introduction from House Vortems and Halenart. With documents of disease, you needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak with uh, Sir Godern uh, Goderno. Uh, he should know Lord Drillmont's current whereabouts. Sid, have you been following me, Sid? There's literally no explanation as to- and Alfie's here too? I literally like haven't communicated to them what's been going on this whole time. What reason have you for barging into- Oh, I see. Well, you're in luck. Lord Drillmon is just up these stairs. Let her all know, though, I would not expect much. House Durandere, as a whole, does not hold adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect, and it shall be returned in kind. Sir Godot permitted your passage. Very well, speak. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scale skin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you an avatar, avatar of the Fury herself? We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Drelmont. You know our name and you know our deeds. We are come to Corthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, an airship of Master Sid Non Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive? That's impossible. Indeed it is, my lord. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Ishgardian history, the house, Dur as House Durandere marshals its forces to retake Stone Vigil, who would appear in Wiper in front but, front but three mysterious strangers? Said Garland, missing and presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two scions of the Seventh Dawn, a defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser house may have been duped by these grandiose lies, 
but I, but I should hope that House Durandere would have greater sense. I know not why these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believed this mummer's farce. <gasps> hate this man. You three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be, it could be moons before a house during dare purges the dragons from Stone Vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, swipe. We must do whatever it takes to earn Drillmont's trust. Understood? I mean, we're offering to go in and fight, right? Join their army. Well, who am I talking to? Is it up? Oh, it's down. You, the lad responsible. Uh, you, the you, the lad responsible for that commotion upstairs. I word travels fast and wiper in front. I gather you still wish to change Lord Drillmont's mind. If there's one thing I've learned about the man in my time, it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Went over the barracks, and uh, and he's sure to take notice. How you ask? It's easy. Serve the poor souls a decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contain no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. Wouldn't be a quality meal, it is true, but it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. Uh, if you've a mind to lend a hand, why not wait a, uh, await a lurking mud puppy in Danafin Pass? And take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens the mud puppies by clogging their mucus glands, drying their skin. Okay. Also, that sounds horrible. Like pouring a salt on a salt on snails. there. Alright, eat vinegar. That's what they want to eat. Like there's so many other, so many other things I could hunt for them. Wiper in front must not be very important because uh, there's no crystal. Oh, stone vigils right there. Oh, that was going to attack me. Oh, we're going to bust through the, the wall here. In style. 360. Reverse 360. 720. Oh, made it.
All right, here you go. It's a mud puppy tail. It didn't work, did it? I thought it was an idiotic idea. <laughs> so the, the vinegar didn't work? Oh dear, remind me to never wander near mud puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, uh, this should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this and this and voila. Never seen a man cook steaks that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and above. Alright, here you go. There's a mud puppy. You there, lad. Didn't think, uh, don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a steak, it would be my pleasure to oblige you. Ha ha ha, yes, yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed. As if I have the strength of ten men and their wits besides. Aye, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she wants. We ought to at least receive a hearty meal before we march, march off to die in the guard, in this God's forsaken waste. Is that fresh cooked steak? All well, these blessing upon you, my friend. Mud puppy meat or no, it's the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Aw. Good food is very important. Ah. Ever must we train to maintain our skill at, at arms, yet never are we to receive proper ses subsistence? You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that House Durandir must do more than its fair uh, share to for the sake of Ishgard. That is true. They are the only ones, like, guarding a stone vigil. And they're not even the house that failed. It was House Hailaclair or whatever their name is. They lost this place. And another house has to, like, defend it. It's true. These people, uh, they get the short end of the stick. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what a, what good food can do for morale, eh? Ah, but I've forgotten about your hard work, um, about the hard-working church in, this, in the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking this stick to Sonoda? She's doubtless a... So preoccupied with the house of her health of her patients that she's neglected to intend her own. All right. This is making me realize if you're ever in like an army or military or something, make good with the chef so that you get good food. He's gone, and I couldn't say all. Oh. I beg your pardon, sir, but I'm busy attending this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that... Come to think of it, it's been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt me to ha for me to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll eat the rest right away. Right in front of my starving patient. I have a word with you, Swipe. It concerns the Churgians. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient uh, alembics for their needs, you see. So I used some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic. Uh, both a gesture of goodwill and a means to help me recover my memories. Uh, since working with my hand kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device are the cores of three ice sprites. Uh, though uh, though commonly used to reduce the temperatures of alchemic mixtures, there is an, a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate without. Sounds ridiculous to you, impossible even, yet somehow I know it will work. So you can reverse the ice sprite core so that it draws cold in, essentially heating up the surroundings? Right? Because it's drawing the cold in, which would make everything hot around it. Rather than make everything around it cold. That's my, that's how I'm understanding this.
Right, got him. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. There you go. What an amazing device, but is it truly an uh, alembic, sir? I've never seen its like before. I too am unsure what uh, what to make you uh, what to make of this machine. While certainly impressive, I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it's as effective as he claims, it would be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create and the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Uh, where thee, the kindly stranger, uh, where thee, the kindly stranger, bearer of gifts wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but a means as to as yet unknown wait let me start over their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end moreover you would be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic they did what bless you inquisitor for coming along when you did we are almost succumbed to the temptations proffered by these these unbelievers i hate this man And we, they were gonna kill him, the innocent guy. Uh, why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francel's trial? Whatever his reasons, we he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. He doesn't want us to go into the stone vigil. He doesn't want these people to trust us. Before we can persuade Lord Drillmont to help us, it seems we must convince an Inquisitor Gallimay uh, that we are not his enemy, but f but just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthus. Perhaps we should learn more about uh, more by speaking with the people in White from Front. Share your findings with Alphano in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. I'm sure he can. Wait. people I need to talk to? I need to talk to four people? I need to talk to Alfie. Inquisitor Gilliman, I haven't the foggiest, I, I haven't the foggiest of whom you speak, unbeliever. Aye, we have learned of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Wow. Lord in uh, Inquisitor Gallimay, yes, of course I know him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came uh, to Whiteburn Front several months ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the Night's, uh, the night's Watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior in the darkness, pitch as black, black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at at one point where I caught sight of a silhouette eliminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but I slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed where I have lay, uh, lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Gallimay rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, sir, and I hope that one day I can repay his kindness. Hmm. Maybe he's not such a bad guy. Under Inquisitor Gallimay's watchful gaze, unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great his devotion. Blessed are we that he to have such a goodly righteous man to protect us. Yeah, but if, if they're being framed... 
then it's not that impressive that he has a high conviction rate. Especially since there's no trial and he just pushes him off a cliff. The Holy See has decreed that the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Polone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. In case you've yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited for this climate. <laughs> I realized it too soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Uh, never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you've been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm, it should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonies obtained, Swipe. Mayhap we, uh, they will provide insight into Inquisitor Guillaume's uh, motivations. Alright. Ooh, we're getting close to a weapon that will be good for me. Something troubles me about the Wounded Knight's account. He claimed he fell chasing a figure in the darkness that he saw outside the eastern gate, yes? But the main road leads to the southwestern gate. Since we've arrived in Wipe in Front, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate. Moreover, he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, which would imply that the Inquisitor came from the north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but a deep chasm. Assuming Sir Yo, uh, Jo La is not misremembering the Inquisitor's behavior that night makes absolutely no sense. At least to me. Mayhap retracing his steps will shed light on this mystery. Oh. Yeah, and look. That's where Stone Vigil is, right? Oh no, wait. Eastern Gate. Hmm. Suspicious. What am I doing? What am I doing? So this is the eastern gate. You would have come from the north? Yep. Nothing but a chasm. Yeah, why would the Inquisitor have been down here? Oh! Inquisitor is dead. So, is he dead? Dead, or is the guy? Oh, is the Inquisitor that we know an imposter? Eric, let's go find this out. found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me in waiting in suspense. Let's see it. Hmm, given the contents of this uh, 
encyclical, I believe you have just made an, the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Galame. Newly come to Corthus and murdered on the day of his arrival. Yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity. For even if he were to behave oddly, who would dare question the wisdom of a papal appointment? Still, while this is incontrovertible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we may uh, we have yet to discern the true identity or why he has decided to oppose us. We must proceed quickly, Swipe, before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Ooh. As Lord Drillmont has already uh, has already been turned against us, I fear that this uh, encyclical alone will not serve to convince him of our claims. But we might, uh, but what might persuade a man so quick to disregard the endorsements of two high houses? The cook said that the Lord listens to and respects the opinions of his knights. If a certain knight were to provide testimony that sw to support our claim, yes, mayhap that is the only way left to us. Uh, confront Sir Joliot uh, with the evidence you discovered and see if that helps him recall the truth of that night. As a man of faith, he may yet find it difficult to cope with such a horrifying revelation. Nevertheless, we must do everything within our power to secure the Enterprise. Alright, let's go traumatize a man. Oh, you have returned. Is there something else you wanted to ask? The Inquisitor is imposter? Don't be preposterous. That could not possibly be true. He's a paragon of virtue, a dedicated servant of the Fury. Uh, he would have me believe... You would have me believe all that is a lie? If you are so certain that uh, that your ludicrous story is, is true, then go and speak with Sir Peru, uh, Brunilla. She's at the Eastern Gate... Uh, she was at the Eastern Gate that night, and she helped the Inquisitor carry me here. But I will never speak against the man who saved my life. You! I, I do not believe I know you, sir. Pray move along and trouble me no more. Are you in the habit of handing bloody documents to strangers? Why would you show me such a dreadful thing? I know not of it. Not at all. Oh. Is she... Oh, I'm so aggressive. You know, uh, you know, don't you? Fury, take me. I prayed this day would never come. And when Sir Joliet gave chase, I, I followed closely behind him. He didn't fall. One of those Dravanian abominations lashed at him and nearly killed him right then and there. I drew my sword and rushed to his side, straining to see the enemy. But what came from the dark was not a beast, but a voice. He, he knew things about me and my family. Secrets I had never told him, uh, another. He said that if I kept his confidence, Sir Jolia and I would be spared, but if I defied him, everyone I loved would suffer unimaginable horrors before they died. When I at last agreed to his terms, the man came forward. His robes marked him as an inquisitor, but I knew him to be false. Together we carried Sir Jolia to the infirmary, and on his first night in White Broom Front, Inquisitor Galame was heralded as a hero. Soon after, uh, soon after came the accusations. Countless men and women of good moral standing ceased whilst in possession of draconian rosaries. As I feared, he was condemning the innocent to death. I wanted to confess to Lord Drillmont, wanted to put an end to this madness, but then I would remember the Inquisitor's threats, and so I did nothing until Lord Francel was accused. Some time ago, I followed the Inquisitor and found that he kept draconian rosaries in a chest hidden southeast of Wyburn Front. So I took several from his chest and planted them in shipments bound for guy fire locks. As I hoped they were they were discovered and considered evidence as of a conspiracy against House Halenard, thus exonerating Lord Francel and casting doubt on the other recent trials. And that is the entire truth, I swear. Helene, forgive me for not acting sooner. So she was the one planting the rosaries, and she purposefully planted so many that it would rouse suspicion. Interesting. It was a stupid plan, but it worked. Is 
just where he keeps them. Why do you persist in this folly? I will not grant you three access to Stone Vigil. I do not make me repeat myself. He said, better be a very good explanation for why you are... Oh, there had better be a very good explanation for why you are carrying these rosaries. And where did you find this papal uh, encyclical? Here, take me. The Inquisitor is a heretic? Never before I have heard such an unbelievable tale, but this evidence in your testimony could have no other explanation. I have misjudged you and your friend swipe, and for that I deeply apologize. I will permit you to enter the outpost, but first I must needs beg your assistance. Help me and my knights bring this infer infernal imposter to justice. Yes, finally he's listening to me. The thrice damned heretic has murdered countless innocents and made a mockery of our laws. Hells take him and his Dravanian allies. I am told he makes for Snowcloak even now, intending to pass judgment upon yet another poor soul whom he has branded a heretic. If we hurry, there may be some time uh, to prevent further tragedy. Lend me your strength, Swipe. Together we let us put an end to the impostor's heresy once and for all. Like, there... The amount of time between, like, accusal and trial is insane. Good to have you with us, sir. Lord, uh, when Lord Drillmont arrives, we are to confront the Inquisitor. Uh, he, if he refuses to go quietly, well, we need to, we will need to use force. Are you prepared to, for that eventuality? Uh, very prepared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This man is not gonna survive me. You needn't tremble, so my child. Uh, the righteous shall enjoy everlasting peace in Helone's halls. Only the wicked. But why? Why must I die? By all that is holy, I swear to you, I have never questioned the teachings of Helone. Inquisitor, release the maid and come with us. My Lord Rilmon, what is the meaning of this interruption? You are aware that I am at present conducting an interrogation, are you not? Silence, Willem, and the na uh, I name the heretic, murder of Inquisitor Gilamade, and countless innocents. You are a traitor to Ishgard. Uh, to your own kith and kin, and your your sins are beyond measure, beyond redemption. Ah, grave allegations indeed, but you will find your logic is flawed. How can I betray that which I owe no allegiance? No, Lord Drelmont, my conscience is quite clear, I assure you. I wonder, can you say the same, for whose hands are black with blood? of those who only sin was to question your nation's crazed crusade. You speak to me of Ishgardian innocence. Ha! All are complicit in these crimes for all that live their lives by the Archbishop's lies. Oh, he's got a book. 
Uh, but I know you will not hear me, deafened by dogma as you are. If you desire retribution, Lord Drillmont, then come. Let us see how Ishgardian Steel fares against Dravonian Fang and Claw. Mess him up. More baddies. There's a wyvern, but where? Oh, there it is. Thing is ugly. My glamour's dispelled. Okay, so he didn't change into a dragon? Your plans lie in ruin, heretic. Choose your words wisely, for they will be your last. Haha. <laughs> you may not recall the many ish guardians I have sentenced, but the families of the dead will never forget. Blood has been repaid with blood, and I will and for that I am content. My, my only regret is that you yet live. But your end is nigh, foreigner. The dragons within the stone vigil will rend you asunder, and when you are dead, Whiteburn Front shall fall. Oh, and he's dead. Defiant to the last. Leave the body for the crows. His ilk deserves not better. Brutal. Swipe, I must apologize for you involving you in this uh, sword business. You should never have been asked to intervene in Ashgardian affairs of state. Rest assured, I have not forgotten the matter which first brought you into our midst. It is past time you were reunited with your airship. But this is not the place to discuss such a matter. Pray visit me at Wiper in front and bring your associates. Can you guys take me to Wiper in front so I don't have to travel? Guess not.
Oh. Where have you been, Swipe? Hmm? The false inquisitor has been slain, has he? Well, yes. This uh, this was a tale always likely to end in bloodshed. Though you have overcome the latest in a, a long line of unfortunate in, uh, impediments, I would ask that you not revel in your victory just yet. We can uh, celebrate once we have secured the Enterprise. As I am sure you will agree, in the past uh, time, uh, it is past time we enter the Stone Vigil. Pray Lord Drillmont a visit and uh, remind him of his obligation to us. Sid and I will follow Anon. I hope the doctors will use that tool that Sid made them to make some medicine. We owe you all a great debt of gratitude. Had it not been for you, the heretic masquerading as Inquisitor Galamay would still be among us, free to prey upon the innocent. I see now that I was a fool to dismiss your claims out of hand, but you must understand it seemed too much to hope that the signs of the Seventh Dawn still lived, to say nothing of Master Garland. Never have I been happier to have been proven wrong. Well, it is gratifying that uh, someone has derived a measure of enjoyment from your error. Now, if you have no further objection, we would appreciate it if you would permit us to enter the Stone Vigil and retrieve our airship. Yes, yes, of course. It is the very least I can do, given all that you have done for us. But entering the outpost is the least of your concern, I fear. Concerns, I fear. You speak of the Dravanians now that hold the ruin? In part, yes, I should explain. Shortly after you arrived, I had my men secure the old records. They confirmed that an abandoned air airship had been seized by the soldiers garrisoned at the Stone Vigil in the days following the Calamity. As far as we have been able to ascertain, it was still in their custody when the outpost was over overrun by dragons. Whether it was damaged or destroyed during the battle, I cannot say, nor can I give you any assurance that has not been removed in the intervening years. For far too long, the ruin has served as a dravain and foothold in Corthus, uh, for which they have struck out at us with depressing regularity. Though we have pushed them back behind the walls, we have as yet been a unable to drive them out, and I cannot say when the situation will change. Or how it will change. Forgive me, Lord Drillmont, but is there no guarantee that you will prevail? In any case, we have not the time to wait. We will secure our property without Ishgardian aid. I see. Well, that may be for the best. I will inform Sir Nath uh, Nathalane uh, that you're in of your impending visit. May Haloni guide you, Silence. Here we go, 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 in the fire, in the fire, in the fire. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna fight our way through Stone Vigil, which I'm assuming is a dungeon because there's a little dungeon marker here. It says Stone Vigil. So we're gonna unlock the dungeon and then we're gonna call it an episode. Um, and we'll do the dungeon in the next episode. Hey, I'll swipe. Lord Drillmont has apprised me of the situation. You may enter the Stone Vigil whensoever you will. Yes, finally. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining. I've had a lot of fun. Uh, we finally gained the trust, uh, trust of the Ish Guardian so we can go in the Stone Vigil. And we'll do that in the next episode. And I hope to see you guys there. Bye-bye.